In this video, we will be looking at how to do a product placement. So if we have an image like this, and we also have our own product image, for example, of this bottle, then how can we put this bottle in the original image and get something like this? Now, in my previous videos, I have shown this quite a lot of times, but there I used Ideogram's Magic Fill feature. The problem with that is that even though it works very well, you have to pay $20 a month to access that feature. And there's also no way to try that out on the free plan. You just have to go in for the paid plan. And this is where this new alternative that I have found will be very helpful for you. And this will be done by using the all-in-one AI app, a very popular one called OpenArt. So I've given all the links that you will be seeing here as well as the images that I'm using in the description. So you will be able to work along with me. The first thing that you'll have to do is just go to openart.ai, create your free account. And the moment you log in after that you're going to see this particular interface you get 40 trial credits and each edit the one that i showed you before is going to cost you five credits so you can at least get eight credits on the free plan and then towards the end of the video we'll also be looking at if you were to go for the paid plan you're going to find out that it's way way cheaper and more valuable than ideogram but first of all let's see how to do this so once you are seeing this interface you're going to go over to this option that says edit on the left here and this will take you to the open art editing canvas and here first of all we are going to upload our original image which has the other bottle all right, so our image is here. Let me just make it slightly bigger because the next thing that we have to do is we have to add a mask here. So by default, you get this green colored masking brush. So if I just scroll down, you can change the size just to make it easier. So let me just quickly brush over this bottle and I'll meet you once I'm done. All right, so our bottle is masked out well. And this is where this interface on the right will help us achieve what we want. Now you can see here, it says, enjoy this premium feature but this can be used even on the free account so either they're giving it just for a preview for some time i'm not sure but right now you can access this on the free plan also and how this works is that we have to give it two references the first reference is going to be of the prompt so we will just have to write a detailed prompt about the bottle our own bottle like what kind of uh, shape it has what's written on it and we'll be using an ai tool for this so that's not going to be a problem but where the main difference comes in is that we also have this next tool which says image guidance and we're simply also going to upload that picture of the bottle here and using both these references, OpenArt will be able to create that new bottle. So first of all, let's take care of this. We're going to go on to a website called as imageprom.org. The link is in the description. And this will just help us generate an image uh, to prompt, or basically a prompt from, from an image. So I'm just going to right now here, upload the image of our original bottle. So that is done. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to hit generate prompt. And you'll just get this all nicely done in a nice paragraph and I'm just gonna paste this here. And something like this is pretty much available in every in painting tool. But like I said, this is what makes the difference. So under image guidance now, I can click here and also upload the image of this bottle. All right, so you can see here that our image is all ready. Under creativity level, this means how much of liberty are we giving to the open art algorithm to change it? and move away from both the references. So what I've seen is I've tried this at different values, just keep it at the default value, which is three. So we are giving it a bit of liberty to change, but not too much. And we're gonna select under model, just select premium flux. By any chance later on, if you feel maybe once they remove this uh, feature from the free plans, I think they will still allow you to do this on the quick plan. But right now, even on the free uh, account, we can use the premium flux model then just leave everything as it is. One important thing in case you wanna save some credits if you're on the free plan is to change the number of images to one because if that's the case, then it's only gonna consume five credits. But right now you can see since we're going for four variations, we're gonna end up spending 20 of our credits. So right now I don't mind going in for four, so I'm just gonna hit create. And let's just wait for these results. These results do take some amount of time, almost two to three minutes to come here, but usually the job is good. So let's wait for this. 
All right, so all our four results are ready here. So what we are going to do is, or at least the first two results are ready. We're gonna hit the first result. You can see, if you see from the replacement point of view, it has done a pretty good job. The only thing I would say here is the bottle looks a bit out of focus and a bit blurry. So let's see the second result. And you can see like this is absolutely perfect. Let's see the third one also in case it's better. So sometimes here, it can change the angle and all a bit. That's not such a big deal. And I think this also looks good, but I just loved the second result since I think it stands out the most. So you can see the text also, the logo, everything is exactly the same as our original image. So this is a great alternative to Ideogram's Magic Fill. Let's quickly also see that if we were to run out of those credits and you have to go for a paid plan, you can see that the uh, most basic plan called the Essential Plan is only $14 a month. Ideogram directly, you can only, like I said, you can access it on $20. So this is cheaper, but also you have to remember, Open Art is an all-in-one AI app, whereas Ideogram is not. In Ideogram, if you were to go for $20 a month plan, you only get to generate the images and then you only get to use Magic Fill. But whereas with Open Art, you can pretty much do anything as far as AI is concerned, like video generation using Kling and other tools, image generation using other models and so many other things. So this is definitely of a higher value and is cheaper. So in case this video helped you out, do give it a like. And if you want to follow along such experiments in the world of AI image and video editing, make sure you subscribe and I will see you next time.